Hopefully this will help you clear up all the basic understanding of how micromolecules, cells, and organelles are all interrelated. Earlier I introduced a few organelles that are important and provided some basic info. Afterward I show you how macromolecules are related to organelles and cells. Now this story will give you a much better understanding overall. You should make sure you have a strong understanding of macromolecules and how they relate to cells before you watch this video. Otherwise it may be confusing. Here is an information about macromolecules and us, using a story to help you better understand. On the left is the kingdom where the king lives. All cities that are within the border will need to pay tribute to the king. Each city contributes what it specializes in, like corn or meadows or weapons or horses, depending on what the city specializes. On the right side, similar to the kingdom, is our brain. Our brain controls the rest of our body. Like the king, our cells have to contribute to our body, directed by the brain. Cells that specialize in hair proteins will make hair proteins. Other, like blood cells, transport blood, and heart cells keep the heart working. All pays tribute. The story begins with a small city, part of the kingdom, and this city is like our cell in almost every way. The cell has a nucleus where all the information and function of the cell is determined by the nucleus. The city has a mayor building where all the information and function of the city is directed by the mayor. The cell has a cell membrane that controls what goes in and goes out. The city has a city wall that controls what goes in and what goes out. The cell obtains carbohydrates from outside source, which will be used for energy. The city obtains woods from an outside source, which will be used for energy. The carbohydrates are broken down outside of the cell and transported into the cell to the mitochondria to convert into energy and to distribute throughout the cell. The woodcutters cut the trees and transport the woods into the city to the sawmill and it gets distributed to the city for the people to use the wood to cook food. Any extra carbohydrates are converted into lipids. Lipids can be used to build membranes. Any extra woods are converted into logs to be used as materials for buildings. The lipids can be used for cell membrane and membranes, uh, nuclear membrane, Golgi, lysosome, and vacuoles. And all of these stuff are made of phospholipids. The building materials can be used to make or fix the city wall, the mayor building, the delivery building, the barrack, and the warehouses. Next, the cell has ribosome, which makes proteins. Some of the proteins are used by the cell, while other proteins are exported to the rest of the body. The city has stores that make and sell products. Some of the products are used by the city, while the rest of the products are exported to the king as tribute. However, to make proteins, you need ribosome. To make ribosomes, you need the nucleolus. The nucleolus is found inside the nucleus. To set up a store, you need permission from the mayor, and the mayor can be found in his office, inside the mayor building. There are two types of ribosomes. Mostly, ribosomes are attached to the ER. There are some ribosomes that float around the cell. There are two types of store. Mostly, they are found at the market, where all the stores gathered. There are, however, some family-owned stores that are not found at the market. The endoplasmic reticulum, the rough one, has all the ribosomes attached to it. The market is where you'll find all sorts of stores. Now, we need to obtain proteins, which can be found from outside source, from food such as meats. The city needs to obtain materials from an outside source, from places such as the mines. The proteins are broken down into amino acids and are transported to the ribosome to make different proteins usable by the body. The materials are transported to the stores and will be made into other usable things like weapons, cart, etc. that will be exported to the kingdom. 
Good. Now that the cell made some proteins like hair, it can be exported to the brain and the brain direct the proteins so you can grow more hair. Good. The new products are ready to be exported to the kingdom to be used for things such as remodeling or weapons for defending. There are many cells. Each cell specializes something and they all export different proteins for different purposes to help the body. There are many cities under the kingdom and each city specializes something and and export those to the king so he can maintain the kingdom. In the last macromolecules, carbohydrates can be used to help produce nucleic acid. The information will be stored as DNA. Woods can be turned into papers and the information will be stored as books. Looking at the structure of a nucleotide, a nucleic acid monomer, we see ribose, a, a class monosaccharide of carbohydrates. The phosphate group acts as a binder and the four ATCG bases are the information. On the left, the nucleotide are bind by the fifth and third carbon. The whole chain of nucleotides make a nucleic acid. Review this video a second time and it will make more sense to you.